One morning, the engines all heard us <laughs> all started telling stories. All sorts of stories. You know, stories from back when they were young. Stories when they first came to Sodor. And best of all, ghost stories. But it was ha hats off to Hank when he told his ghost story. You want to hear a very go famous ghost story? He asked. Oh no, said Billy. It's going to be Timothy's story. I am sick of it. We always hear that every Halloween. No, no, said Hank. Not Timothy. I'm going to tell an American story. An American ghost story. A ghost train that haunts them in the United States. Long ago. Back when there was a... Back when the United States Railway was getting good, there was a one night. A tender engine by the name of 311 was on her way back home. However, as she went, the bridge collapsed beneath her. She tumbled to her death. A year after, the bridge was rebuilt, but no 311. And every Halloween night, the ghost of 311 crosses the bridge, but never makes it across. The engines were all shocked. Well, said Salty, at least it's not as worse as Timothy's story. True, Bill and Ben the tank engine twins said. Agreed, said Billy. After Hank left, Fearless Freddy said this to the other engines. I'm going to be working at the quarry tonight. You better... Uh, in the meantime, I hope you all a good night. And with that, Fearless Freddy puffed away. All the engines on the shed started talking about 311. But not Dennis. He has something planned. Since it's almost Halloween, said Dennis, maybe I should play a prank on Fearless Freddy. Not in a mean way or revenge or something, but just for fun. And with those thoughts in his head, Dennis puffed away. That night, Hurricane visited Dennis. He said that he had forgotten to, bring, to pick up a large steel column at the quarry. This gave Dennis an idea. He said to Hurricane that they could go to the quarry and pick it up. On the way of the quarry, Hurricane mentioned to Dennis that the steel column looked like a tender engine. This gave Dennis an even better idea. The quarry was pitch black, and Fearless Freddy was asleep. Dennis waited from behind. My chance to strike is almost here. Hurricane went over to pick up his large steel column. That's when they heard a puffing noise. Fearless Freddy woke. Who's there? And he saw it. A large tender engine puffed in the view. It's... It's... Said Fearless Freddy. It's 311! It's 311! He's real! Just like Timothy! With that, Fearless Freddy puffed backwards and shunted Dennis so hard that Dennis derailed. And he crashed right onto the field. Fearless Freddy was speechless. Hurricane stopped with his steel metal column. Goodness, cried Hurricane. What's going on? He looked towards the now awake fearless Freddy and the derailed Dennis. What the? Uh, the Dennis? Oh, Dennis, what are you doing derailed? Fearless Freddy said. Oh, I'm sorry, fearless Freddy. I wanted to play a prank on you after hearing the 311 story. Th th that's okay. You gave me a laugh. And Dennis had to smile to that. After Dennis was put back on the rails, he said he was sorry to Fearless Freddy, and he promised that from then on, he would not prank Fearless Freddy or any other engines ever again.